Here's a uh, article from the Daily Mail. It says, Netflix has quietly canceled a woke animated kid show which features a bison who comes out as non-binary to its grandmother. Ridley Jones released its fifth and final season last week, which was not given any promotion, according to, according to the show's creator, uh, Chris Nee. The two-time Kids Screen Award winner and Emmy nominee series uh, received harsh criticism online following the release of episode eight of season five called Herd Day, which centers around a bison called Fred who comes out as non-binary to their grandmother, who's voiced by Sidney Lauper. Some viewers blasted the show on Twitter, claiming Fred's non-binary identity was slipped into the show's narrative. So, the, okay, so the series is called Ridley Jones about a bison. I've never even heard of this show before. One viewer asked, quote, do your kids watch Ridley Jones? It features a female bison who identifies as neither male nor female and wants to be referred to with they, them pronouns. Quietly slipped in there, drip, drip, drip. What a message to send to young girls in particular. The creator, who's a lesbian mom, addressed the cancellation in a tweet last Wednesday. Says, doesn't surprise me that Netflix has quietly dumped the first uh, preschool show that has a non-binary character coming out. I realize in this day and age, dumped means many things, just zero promotion of the episode. First of all, I'm pretty sure this is not. Unfortunately, I wish I could say that this was the first preschool show that has a non-binary character. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. In the not-too-distant past, private citizens used to be largely that. They used to be private, if you can believe it. What's changed? Well, the internet has changed a lot of things. Think about everything you've ever searched for, watched, or tweeted on the internet. Um, now imagine all of that data being crawled through, collected, aggregated by third parties into permanent public records. To keep my data private when I go online, I use ExpressVPN. There are hundreds of data brokers out there whose sole business involves buying and selling your data. They don't even have to tell you who they're selling it to or get your consent. One of these data points is your IP address. Data harvesters use your IP to uniquely identify you and also your, your precise physical location. But you can mask your IP address with ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes my connection through an encrypted server, which makes it more difficult for third parties to uh, find me. Sounds complicated, but at least on your end, it really isn't. All you do is open the app, tap a button, and uh, simple as that, you're, you're safe, you're good to go. Stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Use my link, expressvpn.com slash Matt Walsh Show today, and get three months free on a, on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash Matt Walsh Show. expressvpn.com slash Matt Walsh Show. I mean, they've got, you know, they're, they're doing a, Pride parades and uh, drag queens in Blue's Clues now. So this is ground that has been tread before. But I think we have the clip from the show. Let's watch that. Name Fred. That's because I'm non-binary. And Fred is the name that fits me best. And I also use they and them because calling me a she or a he doesn't feel right to me. I'm sorry I used the wrong name and pronouns. Well, exactly as we exactly as we were told, a uh, a non-binary bison in the kids show, and it is uh, it's it is at least encouraging that this show is a total flop, and now it's being quiet. You know, of course, Netflix isn't going to make a, a big scene about it, but um, it's a flop. People aren't interested. People don't want this, and now they have to cancel the show. That is that is encouraging. Because as much as, uh, you know, we have a problem with woke parents who want to uh, indoctrinate their kids into this, what we see is that still the vast majority of parents do not want this. They're not interested in it. And that includes plenty of parents who otherwise might be mistakenly okay with some of this kind of stuff. There are probably still, and this, this is uh, changing as the woke crowd becomes ever more radicalized by the day, but there are still plenty of parents who would say something like, well, uh, you know, non-binary, I support that. You know, they would legitimize the idea of being non-binary, but they still, they're not going to sit their kid down to watch a show with that stuff in it. And then there's also a, a group of parents who, who would support that and might even say that they would sit their kids down to watch something like this. But then in reality, they're not going to. Um, so that's the positive anyway, and that'll do it for the show today. As we, uh, move over to the members block, if you want to join us for that, you can become a member and use code Walsh to check out for two months free on all annual plans. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed. <laughs>